Getting set for race two in round six of the Dunlop series for V8 Supercars. Here at Winton, series leader Chaz Mostert in the FPR Falcon. James Moffat's with me. Let's have a look at the highlights of race one. And James, Chaz went nowhere off the start. Similar to his race one start at Bathurst, where he was off the front row and fell all the way back to sixth position, can you believe it, by the end of lap one. He got rounded up by Perkat and by Pye and by Luke Yulden, McLaughlin. Then that the rest of them were charging for him. Jones got him. Dale Wood got to him as well. Ash Walsh showed the nose of the Simpro Ford. So it was all about mounting a recovery mission. The first on the list was Dale Wood in the Greg Murphy Racing Commodore. He got by him, but he had a lot of work to do. He certainly did. And the next target he had was Andrew Jones, former two-time Dunlop Series winner here at Winton. And uh, Andy didn't make it easy for Chaz to get by. Mostert had a big look at turn 12 here. Couldn't quite get it done, but this continued a little bit further on around the lap. Turn three was the move. Jones covering, then to turn four. Switch back for the young FPR driver in the gap here. Gets the pass done, but there's a rub at the mid corner. And Jones runs out of road and goes through the dirt. Now, this has been to the investigating officer, Peter Wallerman, and it's going to be a 25 championship point penalty to Molster, but we'll keep you updated with that because FPR have decided to take it to the stewards. Nick Burkett, though, great start, led every lap and came storming home. So he and Pai scored back points on the two Falcon drivers. Scott McLaughlin recovered from a disappointing qualifying in fifth to finish fourth, and Mostert was fifth. Andrew Jones did get to the end. He finished seventh, but not too happy either. I had a really great battle with Chaz there for a bit, but you know, for a guy that's leading the championship, you know, maybe it potentially wasn't the right move on his behalf to run me off the road on the exit of four. So, you know, it is what it is. We're racing, and I was defending hard, and it was up to him to get by me. And, you know, if he felt he had to run me off the road to do that, then it meant I was doing my job. So, you know, good on him. We'll see what happens off the back of it.